someone who obviously knew Wayne Rooney from a young age, how yeah. proud are you to come here and pay tribute tonight? Uh, well, incredibly proud of, of what Wayne's achievements are, you know, and uh, I'm very pleased that I've been I've been asked along to present the trophy to him as well tonight, which is uh, very good. But uh, look, it's all about Wayne tonight. And obviously he's now following your footsteps, forging a successful yeah, managerial yeah. career. Not an easy gig he's taken at Plymouth, but it's going well. No, getting sent off like me as well in my early days as well. At uh, times you have to fight for everything and uh, he's doing that. And I've got to say, great credit to him. He's, he's gone a long way away from home to, to try and make it work this time. And uh, like Plymouth will not be an easy job, but he's, he started well. If you could give him one piece of advice from all your years of experience, what would it be? Well, I think he has to do it his own way and find out if he can get it done how he sees it getting done. He's had a couple of goes at it. Uh, I think all the jobs have been pretty difficult he's been put in before. But I think this one will give him a chance. I think he's got people there who will support him, give him a chance to get it right. And uh, he's shown some signs, a late winner at the weekend. Even getting sent off, and I know it's not a good thing, but sometimes it, you know, the players need to see that you're, you're with them as well. Do you think it puts more pressure on him because he was such a great player? I think it probably does, and I think we've gone through maybe generations where many great English internationals haven't necessarily gone on to be great uh, managers. So I think Wayne, Wayne's love of football has probably got him still fighting against it, and it's been difficult for him a couple of times. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he does. But no, if he needs any help, I'll always be there to support him. Can I ask you about Scotland as it's the international break? Obviously, a, a really tough group in the Nations League, but there were reasons to be positive, weren't there, even in defeat yeah. during the last break? I, I mean, I think first and foremost, for Scotland to be in the level of group they're in at the moment says a lot for how well Steve Clark's got the, got the team playing over the, over the last few years. Uh, and I think the games they've played, they've been a little bit unlucky, maybe not played quite as well as they'd like. But obviously, once again, I think it's Croatia and Portugal in the two games, and uh, two really tough games. It doesn't get any easier, does it, with those two? No, it doesn't. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you are successful, you go into that level. And Steve's got Scotland up to that level now where he's playing against some of the some of the much more top sides in, in the competition. And for you, is it a strange feeling this season that you're not in the dugout? Uh, no, not strange at all. I've, I've, not, I've been a few times not in that situation. But uh, I'm enjoying my time off. I'm enjoying... I've watched a few games, but I'm also taking some time off to time with the family, play a bit of golf, uh, we'll see how things go in the future, but at the moment I'm, I'm really cool just uh, taking a bit of time off. I think one day though you'll return? I don't know yet, I don't know, I've not, I've not made that decision yet and I don't want to make that decision, I'm, I just want to see how it goes and uh, I've had some, some really nice inquiries from, from clubs and countries as well at different times, but uh, I'm just taking my time and uh, we'll see how it goes. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.